One more interesting thing to note is the fact that this particular commentary got less dislikes than several of my commentaries where I criticized the video. Also, I'm aware that some of the comments is probably going to say the purpose of a commentary is to criticize the video you're commenting on. And I gotta say that you are partly right. That is the purpose of most commentaries. However, that's not the purpose of this particular commentary. The purpose of this commentary is for the most part to explain why I like the video. I am saying most part because there are a few counterpoints I give against Chris Duckman's review of Nine Lives. Hey Han, remember at the beginning of the year when I said I was going to try to see as many films as I could regardless of how crappy they looked? Yeah, can you go back in time and kill me? You have a time wasting that so fucking awesome on this I had one. So you want to go back in time, then come with me, I just happen to have a fucking time machine. Maybe later, right? Now I have a commentary to make. Alright, fair enough. My biggest problem with this movie is that it has no idea what its audience is. When you go to a movie that's rated PG about a talking cat that's trying to convince his daughter that he's still a good father, you expect it to be for kids or families, right? Yeah, except 75% of this movie is business meetings and really, really boring stock market discussions and all kinds of backhanded business policies and people trying to become the head of a company and somebody trying to save said company and all of this bullshit that has nothing that a kid would enjoy seeing. Yeah, the rating system is for the most part meaningless. That's one of the biggest problems that I hear with the rating system. The MPAA ratings mean absolutely nothing nowadays. And believe it or not, I have actually seen a PG rated movie with a lot of sexual references. And I am of course talking about that piece of shit movie, Cat in the Hat. The best part of this movie is the first 10 seconds where you see some funny cat videos pulled off of YouTube. It's the best part of the movie! Everything else is total shit! Yeah, we luckily that the cat videos for the beginning of the movie is the best part about the movie. But the thing is, I don't care much about cat videos on YouTube. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're nowhere near one of the worst videos on YouTube, but I just don't really care for them that much. But that's just my opinion. If you like cat videos on YouTube, that's fine. I respect your opinion. But I honestly fucking don't. When they get a cat on the first night, they just let the cat loose in the house. Look, I have a cat. When you buy a cat and you bring her home, she has no idea where in the hell she is. She needs to be put in one room with her litter box and her food, shown where these items are, and then she can be free. They just let her loose in the house and they don't even set up a damn litter box. I argue that this is a horrible movie, one of the worst movies ever. However, I can't defend this aspect of the movie. You see, the reason why they didn't know what to do exactly with that cat is because they have never had a cat before, therefore they have no experience with that. I have to spoil shit. I have to. I cannot go without spoiling some of the insane stuff that happens near the end of this movie. This is a problem that I hear with Jeremy Jones and Chris Stockman. They seem to think that a movie being bad justifies spoiling it. It doesn't. Now, I don't mind spoilers, but in a review that's supposed to be spoiler free, you shouldn't spoil a movie for two reasons. One, the person who watches your review might end up liking the movie. Everyone has different opinions after all. Two, even if the person watching the video agrees with you that the movie is bad, it still would be better experience for them if they discovered some of the bad stuff about the movie by themselves by watching it. There are people out there who enjoy passing bad movies. I should know because I'm one of those people.
Never see nine lives, ever. It does not deserve your money. Don't even try to download this thing if you're into that kind of thing. It is not worth 87 minutes of your life that I just wasted. Look, Chris Stockman, I understand that you have good intentions by telling people not to watch a movie. But the sad truth is, you cannot stop a movie from making a lot of money. Even if you got everyone who watches your videos to not watch a certain movie, it will still make a lot of money. Wanna know why? Because there are a lot of moviegoers who don't even watch fucking reviews on YouTube. So trying so desperately to discourage others from watching a movie that you don't like is kinda pointless.